Gamers, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and in this video, we will learn more about links in HTML and CSS. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. So guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to navigate through pages using HTML. So we're going to create links that navigate us throughout the pages, like from index page to the contact page on the website. So let's open this up with live server and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a link. So A and then press tab. And here we have a link. And then in the link, we're going to put the name of the contact.html file. So it says contact.html. So we're going to put this in between the quotation marks. So contact.html. And if your contact.html or any other file is in a folder, you have to put the folder name behind it. So for example, just let, let me just write an example for the name. So I'm going to write pages and then put a forward slash and then write the name but I don't have a folder for this so I can delete this and then next in between these two greater than and less than signs we're going to type in the text we want so we can type in click here to go to the contact page so we can do that and then when we go back to Visual Studio Code and refresh and when we click here it's going to take us to the contact page so we're not on the contact page so we need one link over here so let's go back to Visual Studio Code copy this and then contact.html paste it right here change the contact to index.html and then click here to go to the home page. Click here to go back to the home page. Back to the home page. Click here to go back to the home page. So now let's go check it out. Click here to go back to the home page. And there we go, we have it. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put the link on a certain area. So let's copy the top part copy and delete it and let's put it right next to contact page and it's going to add that so let's just delete it and then when we go back to visual studio code the link is only going to be available on the contact page so let's go back and then when we click contact page it's going to take us to the contact page so now let's go back to the home page and then go put it back to the top and front of the page and delete this now we're going to try something so let's go to masco let's copy this link from mascotech.com website you can go check it out and then let's paste it over here so we have the link and let's just let it be the contact page when we click it it's going to take us to mascotech.com so it's taking a lot of time to load so as you can see here it opens in the same website so some people want it to open like in a different tab so to do that, you have to go back to this and then over here, right next to A, you're going to type in target and then in the quotation marks, you're going to type in underscore blank. And then let's go back and then click this. As you can see, it opened in the new tab. So these two are two different tabs. So yeah, now we're going to try to make a box. So if you, some of you guys don't want it to be like this so you guys don't want it to be a link now we're going to show you how to create it into a shape or an image or what you want so there is another idea where you can make the link so let's delete the text we have over here so click here to go to the content page let's delete that and let's give some space over here and in between we're going to type in div so div enter and then and then we're going to go to the style.css and we're going to type in div curly brackets and then wait no I mean width width 
equals 200 and don't forget to write pixels and then we're going to do the height and same 200 pixels and then the background color is going to be red so now let's go back to index.html open this with live server and as you can see over here we got a red rectangle over here and when we click it it's going to open the link so you can put images instead of rectangles or shapes you can do anything you want so this is it for this video make sure to like share and subscribe this video and bye i'll see you next time